Dude, did you hear Justin Bieber? He's getting uh, sued. What do you for mean? posting a picture of himself. No way. And dude, I mean, imagine living a life where you're like literally followed by people taking pictures of you and you're like, oh, I look good in this one. Yeah. And, 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 and you find one you actually like <laughs> and you post it and then you get sued for it. <laughs> dude, Jesse can't win, man. So, Aldo is just such a character. He always makes a grand entrance. And I promise you guys, this is not rehearsed. He's actually in his car, just getting out of his car right now. Just pulled up. And watch, he just always makes a grand entrance. So let's see, it's probably gonna be very funny. And uh, watch. Oh, dude, I, I think I sold him that vintage shirt. Or did I give that to him? I th dude, wow, I want it back. It's so sick. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay. Uh -huh. Whoa! <laughs> hey, puppy, 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 I'm gonna get some uh, macros. <laughs> I've been actually doing really good with my diet, but today's cheat day. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. We're in a, we're in a bit of a rush. Calories don't count today. No, sir. It fits you so good. Oh, get oh. oh, my. Wait, no way. What? I have this exact same one. Really? I swear. Are you serious? I swear. Mine's all cracked and stuff, but. I swear, dude. I have that exact same shirt. I got a nice steel. It has a nice back too. Yes, dude. I have that exact same shirt. Really? Yeah. I swear. Dude, you should. I got on eBay. eBay? eBay? I got on eBay. Let's go. Great minds think alike. The Mega Tet on today. It's Giant T XL. We got the NASCAR T here. Winston Cup. We like that. Oh, double sided. Is my double sided? Yours? Yours double sided. Oh, okay. So both of us. And then we got Ernie. Got little MJ. MJ. It's just it's single sided. I'm gonna, let me, you guys got the double seaweed deluxe or, uh... Seaweed deluxe or, uh... You guys, if you guys know what double seaweed deluxe is, comment down below, please. <laughs> you wanna know what the double seaweed deluxe is? No. Oh man, I need to show you that video then. It's a good one, it's funny. Anything? No, I'm good, man. You need anything? I'm good. I'm debating. You want fries? I, I got you some fries. <laughs> All right, medium fries, uh, two medium fries. Hey, I got you, puppy. The homie. <laughs> Let's go. Heck yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's what his heart. He loves his French fries, man. We got a new driver. Got the NASCAR shirt on. <clears throat> yeah, I traded uh, my my Yeezys for uh, for the car. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to get Jordan's face in the vlog because he's always. Hitting those bangers for me, all the pictures. Yep. Everybody send love to Jordan. And here's his pop tag. Make sure to follow him. One of the most gifted photographers I've ever met. Thank you, bro. Right? <laughs> Although, real quickly, tell me something interesting about yourself. Interesting about myself? One thing. That's a quick fire. And hey, One you thing. guys are get yours ready because oh, I want okay. something interesting. Okay. First thing that just comes to mind, uh, this genre, but for the last year, I'm actually really into country. Don't say country. I will say, I will say this. Country music is some of the most like poetic music <laughs> and it's really heartfelt. It really what is. What did you yeah. say? Yeah. It's really nostalgic. I guess. It is. It is. I, I, I will say that. Gig. And played a country gig in front of Staples Center. Whoa! Yeah, it, was, it was it was pretty cool. Not my in my... front of Staples Center. Yeah. So, wait, really? No, oh, no, now no. that's interesting. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's called kind of Roundup. All right, what you got? All right, something interesting about me. I play Fortnite competitively. And no, I'm just gonna no. say that. No. Yeah, no, he's so no good. No way, I ha dude. I got the vibe. I was gonna say that. Yeah. And sorry. <laughs> Did you see Ernie's dress? <laughs> so, hey, I I've never <laughs> seen him react this way I, about anything ever, ever, swear, ever, ever. I was gonna say the same thing. I had no idea Jordan was gonna say this though. I didn't. <laughs> about I, yourself? Yeah, I was gonna say it about myself. <laughs> All right. So those are my friends. They are insanely interesting. So it's good stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna. Wow. Actually, I decided <laughs> I decided to turn this vlog into a, a muke bang. A muke bang? Yeah. Oh, a muke bang? <laughs> is that what is this? Uh, People say mukbang or mukbang. Anyways, um, Re review the nugs. So I hear you wanna you wanna watch me eat? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just I'm gonna eat real quick and then I'll, I'll touch base with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So I just got done eating. Sorry, I, I didn't record it. <laughs> it's not a pretty sight, <laughs> especially when it's McDonald's. <laughs> but I just wanted to share with you guys a little little tip tip of knowledge. There's two type of people in this world. We're just talking about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's the type that hear about a raffle or something going down in relation to sneakers, and they hit up their friends because they are good people like me and Aldo. 
<laughs> and Aldo just told me this terrible, terrible story. <laughs> okay, so when I saw the link on Paul's IG for about the Fear of God basketball sneakers, I was like, oh, like, cool. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna sign up and I'm going to send the link uh, to my homie. I sent it to him. And he just tells me, oh yeah, I already signed up. You know, like, most, a lot of these people who are into, like, streetwear and high beast stuff, like, they either, like, they're sharing or they, they're know-it-alls, right? They're yeah. really prideful. Yeah. And I was just like, Aldo, if he knew about it, why didn't he send it to you? Facts. I was just like, wait a second. What kind of friend is that? He just kept it himself so he could win? You know, I, I, I think so. And I think what, when people do that, I think it's just they just want the highest chance to, yeah, like, yeah, to yeah, win. Yeah. You know, oh, if it's this person, if he's not signing up, then I'm in. You know, I got this. And uh, it's so funny that you say that because actually when I posted that link, I got so, I got a lot of love. You know, people were like, oh, yeah, thank oh, you, thank, thank you. you. Like, yeah. uh, you know, like, I appreciate it. But I also got a lot of you guys, and I won't point out any names, but you know who you are, who DM'd me and said, take this down now. I signed up. Take it down now so we have a better chance. You know who you are. That's not in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. <laughs> what are you doing to my steering wheel, guy? Feeling, <laughs> feeling the leather, you know? Ooh, I like that. You like that leather? That, that leather. That leather. You know what they say? <laughs> it's never fun if there's no leather. <laughs> No, but dude, I forgot the merch tees. Oh. Uh, basically not friends and family. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's been a ton of interest on the merch tees. I'll just say it here and now. Um, I've kind of addressed it in my IG, but I thought I could kind of touch on it just a little bit. I will be dropping them very soon. I'm just kind of getting situated how I'm going to drop them, where I'm going to drop them, and it will be at random. Um, i just like to thank you all for all the interest. I know... There's at least 300 people asking for the merch in the Facebook group alone. And that doesn't even count all the DMs on Instagram and stuff like that. And then Richie, Richie Lee, posted to his Instagram, which I'm insanely grateful for. And I will be dropping merch and I've been getting a lot of messages about those. So um, I figured that the best way to drop them is to just do a random link and just like have a swipe up. So um, what I would say is if you're actually interested in it, uh, just have my notifications on and they'll drop out random and uh, another big question was a price It's gonna be priced at $33. So many of you guys were asking if it was gonna be 60 50 like, you know, keep it affordable and I decided to uh, To just make sure everybody could get one. I know Katri would Definitely want it to be attainable for anybody and everybody. Have, so. you, have you just explained just the like how impactful like the t-shirt is because i know we touched on it last night mm -hmm. i feel like everyone who is going to get the t-shirt just know that you're wearing something deeply special for paul mm -hmm. and um it, it's more than just you know something that you're just going to put on your body but to really uh represent what that what that t-shirt is and it's, it's really it's really incredible uh what what you what, what you're doing and i, and I know cat will we really really appreciate <clears throat> how everyone is gonna wear the t-shirt so in the very bottom is some pink text and it says my chains are gone and it's obviously a play on words as it relates to uh, the bible you know that old that old hymn uh, my chains are gone i've been set free but it also pays homage to uh, just katri's life in general um now that her like her chains are gone means essentially that she's not suffering anymore like she's always in the hospital and she's always like struggling and she's sick and stuff and um, dude, now she's in the fullness of, of the Lord in her in, in all of His glory, and, and she's been made perfect. She's free from sickness, illness, sadness. Um, all these things are gone, and so like all these things like are considered to be chains. In the in the actual picture, it's it's a cat for Catri, and the chains being broken off. Not just in the sense of like spiritually with regard to sin, but also in reference to just the earthly suffering she was enduring and. Uh, and now she's made full and uh, she's in a better place and, and it's it's hopeful the message is hope so I wanted to honor her and, and do right by her by making these shirts you know the best I the best I could so yeah I appreciate you all though yo what is good everybody so we're here at Maxfield at the Rude Papa oh sorry about that sir and uh, dude it looks so sick insanely well curated and we've got these nice water bottles which we didn't think we were able to get it. No, I didn't think we were going to get it either. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of sick stuff, honestly. It's such a vibe in here, man. Like, it's Courtney here. The pinball. All the...
the quality, the build. It's really good. Nice and thick too. There's a lot of good stuff in here, man. So I'm actually thinking about picking up uh, a new pair of shoes that I've actually never seen before, apart from on Ruji's Instagram. Uh, they're these like bandana sneakers. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. They look like the V1s though, but they're really sick. And uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna try them on and see what they feel like and stuff. These are new too, like just all over print rude. Really sick. I think I'm gonna get the shoes. Should we go look at them real quick? I think I'm gonna get these. So here they are, the sneaks. What do you guys think? Should I get them? Actually, at first I was a little skeptical about them, but now I'm like, look really sick. Dude, they're so fire, huh? I think I'm gonna get them. Good? I'm just gonna get my size. Yeah, dude, they feel amazing in hand. The upper is like this, like, it's like a really thick canvas and it's aged and faded. I, I feel like pictures don't do them justice. I honestly, yeah. I think in photos. If you guys like, want a full review, I'll definitely do one too. Yeah. I love this right here. It's the outsole. Yeah. Like spiky. Yeah, that's like so. I think it's like pure bad to me. Like, don't, don't, don't you think? Yeah, kind of. Okay. I can get those yeah. vibes. Now, it's up to the color. I think I'm going to try both colors on. I actually don't have any shoes yeah. in this color, yeah. so yeah, and they feel so heavy. Like yeah, I mean, in the in a good way. Like the quality is amazing. Feel this one. It's actually not too firm. It's all rough. yeah. It's all leather. Oh. It's such good quality. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. Here, get a get what a color shirt. I think we have black because I don't want to get in trouble with the blue. Yeah, get, get, <laughs> you know? get the blacks. Okay, get the blacks with the one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's the one who. The, the water, I believe so. Or as I know, I just wanted to say, hey, do you have anything to make? Everything is our mission. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because the combat boots over there. Um, but we're getting another release next week. Um, they haven't specified which shoe, how many. Um, but we are getting more. In the meantime, we suggest you check out the website. But that's sorry great. about that. I'm gonna no, show that's sorry. great. That was actually <laughs> Yeah, they actually they fit perfect. <laughs> Dude, we're out of luck. They're Ernie size. They don't have my size here. They all sold out last night. One day later, it's already sold out. So, they're so <laughs> they, they, they just remind me of like the old old school, but this is like another level of it though. I love how thick the sole is. Oh, that sucks. Oh, dang, man. Hey, did you check out the hoodie with that? This, is, this feels great. I love uh, rude hoodies because they're so heavy. I love like the age and the feel. Crazy. This set is actually sick. Just to like chill in your house. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that's really dope. Yeah. <laughs> just to chill at your house. That, like that's like. To flex on your own. Yeah. Just fle flex on my mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's brutal. I can't, I can't believe I don't have the shoe, man. The shoe is really dope. Wait, did he say I could pre-order them? You'd have to ask one of them up there. You can ask them. Uh, new shoes. Exclusive Rude Maxfield. <laughs> want, want some boots? I think I'm good on boots right now. This is so sick. Yeah, I just love everything Ruji makes. It's all so dope. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. Is that the shoe box? Yeah. It's for the fans. What? It's 
Yo, what is good guys? So we just got done in the Maxfield Rude pop-up and yeah, it was it was so well curated. The whole experience was so dope. And actually right when we walked in, Ruigi was there and dude, he was super nice, super yeah. kind. He's like, yo, like by all means come on in and vlog. And um yeah, just shout out Ruigi. Thank you so much. He made sure that the staff took care of us. And uh yeah, I just it, it's it's love every time I see Ruigi. Yeah, dude, like what do you guys think about the pop-up? I'd like to hear your guys' feedback you guys know i freaking yeah. loved it but my shoes were out of stock already yeah. after one day i think so. that i think that was just the letdown i was really excited to just see the shoes at first and i think what you said i mean the shoes really don't do them justice just by uh, looking at them in photos i think yeah, in person yeah, yeah. definitely it changed my opinion the i really quality's on another level quality's crazy yeah. if it's not leather you know why why buy it you know <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just kidding i'm just kidding uh I think I'm gonna go. But no I think overall, yeah, the the, the quality in the shoe, uh, the print of the, of the of the the whole bandana theme of the shoe, I think is really really cool. You know what else is really cool? So we got these right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, and they were we supposedly all gone. But <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I told them on the way here. I, I mean, on the on Ruigi's um, IG or on the Root IG, it said that there was only gonna be 500, and that the first 500 people were gonna get it. And we were four ninety six, seven eight, nine, and five hundredth <laughs> <laughs> in line to get the water bottle. So, hey, friends and family. Yeah, friends and family. Although, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, but overall, a really great experience. It's a ton of fun. I think right now we're heading to downtown to kind of just put around. I think we're gonna shoot some pics as well.